We're heading into the 814. We've been talking all about the Center Film Fest. Well, here today, we've got Jackson Pavlik, who's the director of Close That Box, and he brought along uh, Theodore Rosenblum, who's the producer of the production. Welcome to the show, you guys. Thank Thanks. you for having us, yes. Okay, tell me all about Close That Box. Why don't you start us off? I will. Uh, so, uh, Ted and I both grew up in central Pennsylvania. He's from State College, and I'm from Huntingdon. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were both kind of young movie makers okay. uh, when we were kids. So we had, you know, all of our friends from school, and we both were involved in theater as well. Uh, we'd get together on the weekends all throughout mm -hmm. elementary school, middle school, high school, right up until COVID, uh, and we'd make movies as a hobby. And by the end of our high school years, we'd made over 100 of these short films, and we'd make them in a day, we'd edit them, we'd write them, we'd provide the costumes. So uh, after COVID hit, we all kind of went our separate ways to college. And uh, this was my senior year and, uh, and a few of our other friends' senior year. And Ted called me up and was like, hey, we should do uh, one more. And so we kind of pulled out all the stops for this one. Uh, Ted was a film major at yes. Penn State and I was wow. a theater major. So, uh, you know, we got the real cameras, we got the microphones, we got the whole nine yards. And uh, we set about to, uh, to write this thing. And uh, it's, a, it's a mammoth. It's a big piece. It, I, it is what I would call an epic, yes. certainly. Really? How long is it? It is three hours long. Wow. Which is nothing if you come from theater. Most shows end up being three hours <laughs> long. But we wanted to keep adding friends that we loved and jokes that we loved. And eventually the project sort of ballooned from this 90-minute normal movie until a full-blown epic. I just love that this blossom, though, you know, it's, it got in your blood from such a young age mm -hmm. because I kind of remember that, too, you know, putzing around with cameras oh, and yeah. concepts and just having fun, right? But being able to tell a story, too, is just such a special thing. What is the show about? So it's in some ways a little bit uh, autobiographical. Mm -hmm. A group of five friends used to make movies, much like we did. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they're going their separate ways, and they decide, you know what, let's make one more movie together. They go to their basement, they want to pull out the old scripts, the old costumes, and little do they know, the stories that they told have become this Pandora's box. That when they pull out the old scripts, all of the movies they made take over the universe, and they have to find their way out of them, escape the movies they made as kids. Mm -hmm. uh, so they go into a uh, apocalyptic political thriller here, they go into a surreal pirate adventure, uh, this is our trailer, so this is yeah. them going to the basement and, and seeing the old costumes, and then there's the box full of the old scripts. Do not open. And their uncle, played by Jackson here, uh, <laughs> says, you know, don't do it. <laughs> right. And they get sucked into, a, a, you know, all, all these crazy stories, this spooky horror western and this pirate adventure, but the pirates are on land. Of course, <laughs> we're in Center County. There's no ocean right. around except maybe Raystown Lake, and <laughs> filming on water is too expensive. Yeah. I want to hear a little bit because you you sent us the trailer, so we have a little snippet here that we can hear with sound. Let's let's take a look. When did we do that? I mean, we could have been more than what, like eleven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we edited um a whole bowl on the lamb. It's like just movie after movie after movie. Do you know if we kept those scripts? Oh, I didn't keep those scripts. Uh, I think August has them. Oh, guys. Oh, this might be it actually. Close that. Box. We gotta call someone. <laughs> Something has clearly happened to Uncle Jack. The show's not over yet, folks. Oh, that looks like so much fun. It's this a lot. much, I mean, it must have been quite the production to put together. The yeah, time. It really. Tell was. me about the timeline of how all this developed. We started. Okay. And uh, the film's kind of got four writers and, and a fifth who provided us some additional material later. Uh, and uh, those four initial writers are, it was Ted and I and our friends Dylan and Jack. And these are folks who've been involved uh, with us since those old times. Yeah. So we all got together and kind of started to cobble it together in February. It was kind of done by April. And then uh, we started filming in, uh, in April. And our goal was, in writing it and in filming it, to get as many of those people that we love from the old times, from our times at Penn State, Aww, kind of yeah. as, a, uh, as a love letter right. to central Pennsylvania. So we started to write in a bunch of folks. And we wrote it in so, oh, you're not available this day. Well, come this day. We'll write a character for you there. And someone else can play it here. And so the film ended up with over 120 cast members. Oh, that's neat. And you're entering it into an independent film. Um, yes, we've got an independent uh, advanced screening that is okay. open to the public yeah. uh, on November 30th at the State Theater 
uh, in downtown State College at 6.30. Okay, but Yeah, Very so that's good. kind of going to be its first, uh, its first appearance, though still kind of a, you know, for the community. That's which is so why we didn't want to do an advanced screening, which I think is also State Theaters where we both made our stage yeah, debuts. I think that's right, yes. Yeah. When we, we were made our, our little, when we were little kids doing shows, they were put on at the State Theater, mm -hmm. and so it's kind of a homecoming in that way. Yeah. Well, you must be so proud. I mean, congratulations for seeing Thank the piece you. come together and um, being able to share it with the community. It's, yeah. it's fabulous. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. We'll have some more details over on our website, WTAJ.com. All about Close That Box, the movie that these guys created. Some really neat stuff. We've been talking about independent film here in central Pennsylvania. How it's getting its start is some really exciting stuff.